A warm greeting. Today is Friday, October 11th, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be talking about the possible cyclonic development in the Western Caribbean Sea over the coming week, which is of special interest to sectors in Central America, the Yucatan Peninsula, and Western Cuba. Before giving details of this forecast, I wanted to mention that we are closely monitoring Invest 94, which, in the long term, could pass very close to the northeastern Caribbean, where it could encounter favorable conditions for cyclonic organization. If you want to know more details about the forecast for Invest 94, I invite you to check out a video I recorded earlier today. Without further ado, let's zoom in on the infrared satellite animation of the Caribbean Sea, where we currently have some showers and thunderstorms that have developed in the southwestern Caribbean Sea but remain disorganized for now. However, over the next seven days, a new Central American gyre is expected to develop, which will bring increased moisture and rainfall across some parts of Central America. It is possible that a low-pressure system may develop and could find favorable conditions for cyclonic development. Still, the National Hurricane Center has not marked the area with potential for cyclonic development yet, so there is still uncertainty about whether or not a tropical cyclone will form within the next five days. Conditions in the Atlantic will not be favorable for cyclonic development, thanks to an unfavorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation. However, a Kelvin wave will be moving across the Caribbean and the Atlantic by mid to late next week, and that's when conditions could become a bit more favorable for development. Remember, the Caribbean Sea has ocean surface temperatures that are well above normal. So the combination of the Kelvin wave with such warm ocean surface temperatures could help, at least, in the development of a low-pressure system associated with the Central American gyre. For example, we have the projection from the GFS model, which has been very consistent in developing a low-pressure system and potentially a tropical cyclone in about 6 to 8 days, just east of Nicaragua. However, I must mention that although the GFS model is sometimes the first to project cyclonic development in this area, many times this development does not even occur. This is why the development probabilities remain extremely low for now, and that's why the National Hurricane Center has not yet marked the area as an area of interest for cyclonic development, especially since other models do not show significant development. Although the German model does see the development of a low-pressure system associated with the Central American gyre, it keeps it quite weak in the Northwest Caribbean in about seven days. The only model that shows significant development is the American model, and until we have more consistency in the runs or other models join the idea of cyclonic development, it's very likely that the National Hurricane Center will still not mark this area with cyclonic development potential. But note that some members of the GFS ensemble develop a tropical storm or perhaps a hurricane in the Western Caribbean, but see the great dispersion of different scenarios, making this forecast highly uncertain. This is especially true when none of the members of the European model ensemble show the development of a tropical cyclone. As long as the European model doesn't show development, it will be difficult for the National Hurricane Center to mark this area with cyclonic development potential. Regardless of whether or not we see cyclonic development in the Caribbean, a significant rain event is expected for sectors of Panama, Costa Rica, and eastern Nicaragua. Depending on whether or not a tropical cyclone develops, some models have rainfall totals between 200 and 300 mm affecting eastern Nicaragua, eastern Honduras, as well as parts of Panama and Costa Rica. That's why it's important for residents of Central America to stay alert to the evolution and development of this Central American gyre. Even though the chances of cyclonic development in the Western Caribbean remain extremely low for now, here at Hurricane Info, we will be monitoring in case other models align with the idea from the American model. Next week, I will be recording more content to keep you informed of this forecast, so to make sure you don't miss any of the videos I will be recording, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications of when I post new videos. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video.